We're still looking into those issues. We are aware of reports of a domestic violence incident with this subject yesterday. He took a vehicle from the location off of Bobcat. He went mobile in that. He at some point returned that vehicle and crashed it. Literally robbed a guy of his vehicle and went mobile a second time during this event. During the second mobilization is when he engaged officers and when he encountered officers. You mentioned too the truck where a woman and child were shot that they ran into. Can you describe what took place there and why they were targeted? She was uh, transporting, I believe, her children to school, driving down the road, passed by the vehicle, and he opened fire on them without provocation or warning. And that's where the child was hurt in that vehicle? That is what one of the children were shot in that vehicle. Uh, I'm told it was not a life-threatening wound. The female, I'm told, very life-threatening wounds, and I don't know her condition at this time. Right now, we have 10 victims being treated at local area hospitals in the North State. I don't know their individual um, conditions. Working with the school superintendent and school officials, we were able to secure the children away from that school, and they have since been reunited with their families, which is very important. I know it was very hard on some of the parents because they were stuck at the roadblock, they couldn't get through, but we had to do what we could do to secure the area and make sure that the children were safe. The shooter targeted the school 